Hey there, Cena here. Quick question, are you still using Bash as your terminal? Do you think there might be a better way? Maybe you've heard of Zish and its framework, oh my Zish. And maybe you installed it. And it had this massive config file. Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking that config file, trimming it down to less than 100 lines, and it's going to be massively powerful. Now you can feel free to read all these comments and stuff, just to learn how it, Zish works under the hood, but it's really not super important, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete all this. Alright, so... Now that we've installed Zish, let's just hop into the Zish RC. And uh, you're going to want to do some classical file, uh, config file housekeeping. So you're going to want to export that random path to those scripts that you have uh, into the path. And a lot of the time, there are certain environment variables that you're going to want to set. For example, the in terminal visual editor, I like to set here as well. But make sure you put a comment down so people know that which side of the war you're fighting on. Next, you're going to want to set the path to your oh my zish installation. This should be set under the environment variable zish and is usually located at home dot oh my zish. And remember to double quote your strings in order to have bash recognize the variable escapes. Alright, now that we've got all the housekeeping out of the way, it's time to get to the big cheese, what you've all been here for. So, what is this trick that's going to make our config file so small and yet so powerful? Well, I'll tell you, we're going to use other people's code. That's right, we're going to use plugins. And we're going to use a very easy to use plugin manager called Antigen. Now, Antigen basically takes a GitHub repo with a Zish plugin file in it and puts it into your plugins folder, allowing you to download that plugin easily just by writing Antigen bundle and then the path to the GitHub URL. Why it needs approximately 5 billion lines of code to do this is pretty beyond me, but let's put it on. To install Antigen, you can feel free to download it with your preferred package manager but just to feel cool, I like to clone the nightly. You can clone the nightly with this command and it'll just put it to the, your root. If you're not a huge fan of crowding out your root, you can feel free to move it around. Personally, I don't mind. Great, now that we have Antigen, let's hop back into the Zish RC and add it as a source. I like to add a comment before just to show where I could get the nightly Antigen Zish file back. To use the oh my zish library with antigen, instead of downloading it all from GitHub, we can just write antigen use oh my zish and it'll know what to do. To use antigen, you just have to write antigen a command and an argument. These are mainly going to be antigen use bundle install theme or apply. Always remember to write antigen apply at the end of your zish rc. This has gotten me a few times. All right, awesome, and let's save, and remember to source the ZishRC file every time to see your changes. Or you can just close and open a new terminal, but that's silly. And now it might not look like much has happened, but don't worry, we're gonna get there soon enough. We're just setting the foundation right now. All right, let's open her back up and get rolling. So a great thing about Zish is it has a ton of nice built-ins from the Oh My Zish library that we already said we're using up top. And I'll mainly put my favorites on here, but there's actually a ton that you can go check out on the GitHub page. Some of it's pretty language specific, so I don't want to cover it here. You can see it on their plugins page, if you're interested. Alright, let's just start off easy here and add a couple bundles for auto-completions. Auto-completions are basically when you write a command halfway, hit tab, and the rest of the command is filled out for you. You've probably seen this when CDing around into folders, 
but this concept can actually apply to a lot of commands as well. So let's just add it in source. Also, if my source messages are different from yours, it's just because I have a lot of this stuff already installed. All right, let's try it out. Pip int, and I'm gonna hit tab. <laughs> wow, install filled out automatically. Let's try git, git cut. Oh, and again, amazing, amazing stuff. All right, if you're not too excited, don't worry. We're just getting started still. So these are just some auto completions and you can add other ones too. For example, I added one for Heroku because I use it a lot. There's a lot of auto completions probably for your favorite language as well. Let's get a bit more exciting and show you guys command not found. So this plugin will just, uh, like it says, if you enter a command but it's not found, it suggests what you should do uh, to use the command. For example, putting mutt down asks us to install mutt. Next up is one of my absolute favorite commands, Z or Z. Z jump around pretty much makes it so easy, makes it so easy to move around in your terminal that you'll never want to use your file browser again if you even did before. So let's say for instance you make some really long path name and inside that a really really long path name and you want to do something there. Now it's all the way deep down there and I used to dread long path names like this but not anymore with Z. Z, I just write Z something and boom, I'm right at that location. It's amazing. The first day I discovered Z, it was a good day. I cannot live without this uh, plugin and sometimes I'll use someone else's terminal, they won't have Z and I'll start crying. Also, this generic bash prompt is pretty boring, so we can add a theme. This is pretty easily done with the antigen theme command. Just write antigen theme, and then one of the themes you have installed. A really popular oh my zish one is called Agnoster because it has some power lines. This power line aesthetic is pretty popular among programmers, but personally, I'm not a huge fan. I'm actually, if you couldn't already tell, a big fan of emojis and I found an interesting fork of this emoji based prompt called wild cherry that someone made called Zemoji and that's the one I've been using for the last little while it's pretty nice so again if it's not a built-in like our oh my zish commands we can just write the path from the github URL and antigen will go fetch it for us like magic alright next let's do a few rapid fire ones Colored man pages is another built-in, which, you know, just as it says, colors your man pages. This is pretty cool sometimes, especially because some man pages can get so ugly, but it really helps a lot, and it's really easy on the eyes. I really appreciate it. Next, I'd like to highlight a GitHub group that I found called Zish Users. This is just a group full of projects by Zish users, I assume, that are so useful they belong in a group. They're also better supported. So one of the cooler ones is called Zish Syntax Highlighting and it basically highlights your syntax as you're typing in your terminal. If you've ever used Fish, this is very similar to that. The great thing about Zish Syntax Highlighting, sometimes I'll be in a folder and let's say I want to use a library like Jupyter and it'll come up as red and then I'll realize, oh, I haven't sourced the Python environment, then I'll write Jupyter again and it's green. So it's really easy to quickly check if something's in your path just by seeing if it's red or green. The next two kind of work together, Zish completions and Zish auto suggestions. These ones are game changers and I again absolutely dislike using terminals now that don't have this. What they do is basically offer you suggestions on what to type and with a simple click of control F you can activate the suggestion. And again, if I was in my Python environment, I could just write source zishrc, then hit control W two times to delete, then write E and then the environment suggestion of enter and we've activated. Write D control F, enter and it's deactivated. It'll, it'll totally surprise you, and it did surprise me, how many of your commands are repeated or just quickly repeated with the exception of a word at the end, which you can quickly snip off with Control w Another real quick one for the Pythonistas out there. There's a pyenv package that activates and deactivates Python, and when you write pyenv local, it will source the Python version. Just kind of a fun 
and easy to use thing. All right, now that you've made it to the end of the video, I'd like to share with you a secret bundle, secret because it has an inappropriate name. And of course, I'm talking about the, mm, you can read it yourself. And it's basically a command autocorrect. For example, let's say you write, I don't know, mutt. Now command not found tells us it could be installed with apt or snap, but then you have to go and manually copy paste that. With, uh, with this library, you just hit escape twice and whoop bam the command that it suggested is right there in your terminal. And this isn't just for commands not found either. A lot of the time you'll want to do something but forget your sudo. Bam bam escape escape and there we go. There it is with sudo. It's actually remarkable how many times this tool gets it right. And if you're not satisfied with the first suggestion you can always write the word itself and see all the suggestions. Also, quick note, there's another plugin called Fast or FastD, which pretty much does what Z does, except it can also open and do other stuff with the files. I personally don't use it, but it could be a nice fuzzy finder if you find it, that kind of stuff useful. Alright, that's it. I hope you found this video informative, and it makes you feel like a terminal genius. Welcome to the Matrix. Thanks for looking at the zish. You're a really good looking bish. Sorry, that was rude. Please don't call me dude. Anyways, that's the end. I have one final command, my friend. And that is this. You should always use zish. Check the description for all the links. They are below. Check your head. Thank you.